Thank you. Hi, Fedevate. Uh, hope you're all doing well. We've got something exciting for you today. Uh, first, uh, I'm Daniel On. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Delphi. Uh, just a little bit about me. I have my PhD in economics from Harvard. I used to be the chief economist at the US State Department and at BNP Paribas. Hi, I'm Joseph On. I'm the co-founder and president of Delphi. Uh, my obsession is AI and data science. Uh, I got my PhD from Harvard Business School, and I was the chief data scientist for the Office of Management and Budget in the White House. So my whole career, I have been obsessed with what I think is one of the hardest uh, financial problems, uh, uh, balance sheet optimization. Actually, that's kind of how spiritually Delphi was formed. Uh, so our grandfather uh, was uh, the minister responsible for economic recovery after the Korean War. So we grew up with a lot of stories about how important it was to stabilize food prices. Uh, but now today, we're Delphi, we're using AI to stabilize capital. So banks today face life or enormous risks, life or death risks. You make one wrong move in managing your balance sheet and you could be facing billions of dollars of losses. This could jeopardize the bank itself. This is why we created Delphi. We figured out a way to use AI, not Gen AI, to take this Wall Street level expertise and bring you solutions in the form of actionable, board meeting ready solutions. So we put together some of the world's best minds uh, uh, to tackle this hard problem. We've got uh, MIT trained physicists, so we've got ex Goldman Sachs strategists, we've got uh, ex Treasury Department officials, all to try and help uh, uh, solve this problem of balance sheet optimization. So let's illustrate with a real customer journey. Let's say you're the head of ALM and you're walking into the Alco meeting. We're going to illustrate today how Delphi can empower you for this meeting by solving every step of the ALM uh, problem. So number one, overwatch for rapid insights. Number two, Oracle for evaluating strategies. And number three, our real AI co-pilot, which can actually directly recommend optimal solutions. With these three solutions, tools, you can walk out of the ALM meeting confident that you've come up with the best possible solution. So let's start with Overwatch. Uh, remember, Overwatch is there to give you real-time insights uh, into your balance sheet risk exposure. So what we've done here is we've uploaded an example balance sheet of about $100 billion. Uh, what probably a lot of you do right now is you send your balance sheet data to some third-party vendor, uh, and they do some pretty rudimentary analysis on the sensitivity of how the balance sheet performance uh, evolves to pretty artificial interest rate scenarios. So in this case, a parallel shock of negative 100 basis points uh, might cause a negative $900 million impact upon uh, your balance sheet performance. So Delphi takes us to the next level. We generate thousands of Monte Carlo simulations of realistic rate, uh, uh, rate curve evolutions. We then apply this to a precise digital twin simulation of your balance sheet so we can actually calculate directly the cash flows that are coming in and out of your bank. In turn, this allows us to generate the value at risk probabilities for your bank's performance. So here are the results. So yeah, if you look at it. <laughs> Yikes, that's actually a lot of interest rate risk on the balance sheet. You can see the performance uh, can go anywhere from negative $5 billion over the next two years to plus $7.5 billion. Uh, that's, that's a lot of rate exposure for this example balance sheet. So I mean, you can still overlay your traditional rate shocks and parallel rate shocks and custom scenarios on this, but this is a fundamentally one-dimensional way to understand your risk. Thanks to Delphi, you can actually get a much more complete two-dimensional picture of your exposure. Right. So you, can, you know, just look at it right there. Um, that you know, there's a markets are pricing in a seven percent probability that rates will move in an adverse way that causes the balance sheet to underperform by 2.5 billion dollars over the next two years. I mean, the board should be scared about this, uh, the ALCO should really start discussing what to do about it. So back to the meeting, you know, no one is happy about this situation. So what do we do? Unfortunately, we don't have time to get in today, but Overwatch can actually identify the source of the risk in your balance sheet. In this case, it's a long maturity securities portfolio. So the CEO hears this and says, OK, well, why don't we do this? Why don't we sell a quarter of our securities portfolio? It's a reasonable idea on the surface, but how good is this idea really? So thanks to Oracle, um, we can actually see what that impact is. You know, if Overwatch is about analyzing your risk, Oracle is about action. So you can actually plug in uh, that proposed strategy of selling some long-dated uh, securities and see the actual impact. And that's right over there. Uh, that's the gold distribution. So, I mean, it's, it's better, right? Uh, the value at risk probability of losing $2.5 billion has gone down from 7% to less than 1%. 
But there's also a trade-off. Uh, the expected performance has actually also gone down by a couple hundred million dollars. So here's the question. Is this the best possible solution? Is there anything out there that can better balance performance and risk? This is where our AI co-pilot comes in. So we're really excited uh, to reveal today um, our real AI uh, co-pilot that combines all of our decades of domain expertise uh, uh, to help design uh, the best sort of balance sheet optimization strategies for you. So in this case, instead of just selling securities, our co-pilot actually recommends entering in a swap to mitigate your risk exposure. So check it out. Uh, the co-pilot's recommended strategy uh, does a lot better. It's a 70% reduction in volatility. Um, the, the risk of actually underperforming at all, like a negative performance, has gone down to zero. And actually, the expected margins on this balance sheet has actually risen by 50 basis points. Now, that's a strategy that's a lot more exciting. Uh, you should discuss it with your ALCO, and you should you know, potentially bring it to the board. So you might be thinking, this is all cool in theory, but does this work in a real life example? Well, it turns out we have been looking at a real life example this entire time, likely one that you're all already familiar with, our old friend, Silicon Valley Bank, as of 2021. <laughs> so yeah, we all know the story about Silicon Valley Bank. Uh, they mismanaged their interest rate risk exposure. Um, and what actually historically happened to rates uh, was a, about a negative $2 billion uh, impact that caused a bank run and, and ultimately realized their failure. That dotted line represents what uh, they could have actually achieved had they followed our co-pilot's uh, strategy recommendations. It's a $3.5 billion gain, actually. So using Delphi might have actually prevented SVB's collapse entirely. And that fundamentally is our mission. We want to stop these bank collapses from happening, and we want to stabilize capital just like our grand did, de uh, did back in the post-war era. So to sum up, uh, Delphi, we are here to help banks navigate a new era of interest rate turbulence. You know, lots of people are bracing for volatility post-November. Um, you know, all eyes are on the Fed and on whether Chair Powell can nail this soft landing or not. <laughs>